Good morning YouTube, this is Chuck Gentles and uh, in the shop again today and if you're looking at this bucket here you'll see these are all switches, limit switches, safety switches, tamper switches and I've had this bucket of these for well over six months so the other day I was watching uh, Scrap It All and he was doing a bunch of switches let me show you. Uh, switches kind of like these. These are all, these are a tamper switch. That's just a regular switch switch. This is a regular switch switch. But they've got copper, they've got silver, and all the connectors are brass in these. But he did something interesting. The last time I did these, I had pieces of plastic everywhere in the shop. I mean, it was shooting off like little rockets across my shop. So he did something. I'm going to try it here today. You'll be the first to see me either succeed or fail. Be back. All right, guys. The system's pretty simple. It only takes one tool. And it, he uses the towel. He has a great big towel that he covers them up with. I've got a rag and a piece of a towel. So I'm, we're going to do one of these tamper switches, and this is the one of the plates off my press. It's one inch thick steel, and what we're going to do is this. You got the switch there, and you got the tiles here. And you do that, and I felt it go, and there's the pieces. So this one's basically a part, you notice I'm wearing gloves though, just for uh, keeping from getting cut. Now that's a little spring, I've got to check here, what you see. Yeah, he's spring steel. And these are junk. And that is brass. I'm not sure about that. And that one's brass. Not sure about the nuts. I'm pretty sure the nuts aren't. But that was how quick that was. And now all the trash is right here in one spot except for where I moved that over. So let's check these and make sure what these are. Okay, the nuts are steel. And the... Uh, Contact areas are brass. So in a few seconds I got two pieces of brass and a little bit of steel. And I think to go through all these uh, little switches, I mean, I, like I said, I've had them for six months. So I just don't know what to do with them. And without having to clean the shop every time, every day. So, so anyhow, that's how that works. I might do a couple more here today. I've got some other things, little projects in the fire, but uh, be back. So scrap it all, thank you so much, buddy. Uh, I've learned a lot of little tips from you that have really helped me and uh, speeded up my ability to get some of the scrap metal. And uh, this little trick here with the towel, like I say, I don't have a towel, but I've got a piece of a towel and a rag. And this worked great. This is how clean everything is right now. And uh, uh, that, that two little tamper switches were two tenths of a ounce, uh, they're 0.2 ounce, whatever that means, 0.2 tenths of an ounce of brass. Alright, thanks again buddy, be back. Well guys, as you can see, as you take those things apart, all those little limit switches and whatnot, uh, you can see there's a contact, sure you can see right there, it's a little bitty guy. So that's one. Oh, here's one. Here's a good one. Right there. That's silver. This, I'm guessing, is brass. The rest of it. Uh, this is probably copper. And believe it or not, there's that little bitty contact there. Little bitty guy right there on that end. A little, little speck of it. But that's silver. Silver contact, and we can just pop that off. 
there, and there's a bunch of those and a bunch of these. Uh, there's another nice one right there. Uh, so anyhow, I think it's well worth the effort to do this. Now this is industrial silver, so I'm not exactly sure what the uh, percent silver is. It might be 925, uh, I don't know for sure. So anyhow, uh, that's where I'm at so far. We're going to continue busting these little babies up and be back. Alright guys, there's the scale, here's the copper. And it's uh, 0.4 ounces. We had a 0.2 before, so it's 0.6 ounces. I'm sorry, 0.4 of copper. And I'll be back with the brass. Okay, so I had a 0.2 before. And this is brass, all from these switches. And there's 1.0. So 1.2 ounces of brass, which isn't bad. Be back and see how much silver we got. Alright guys, so we're going to tear this cup. 0.2, 0, and this is all the little silver guys. 0.6 ounces. Not bad, I'll keep that. Silver's about, what is silver, $25 an ounce now. This is over a half an ounce. Yeah, not bad. All right, that's it for now. All right, guys, I've been uh, hard at it while you've been gone. This here is brass, which doesn't amount to much. This here is copper, lots of copper out of the switches. And this is silver. This here is silver. Notice how full it is now. There has to be two or three times as much as it was in there before. So, so we're going to stay after this. It might show you a way on that copper. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Guys, the scale is on. It's set to ounces. This should weigh out pretty good. 3.2 ounces of copper. That's not bad. I mean considering what it came out of all the little switches and stuff that's really good alright be back alright guys I got a few more uh, switches broke up you can see by the pile here all those that were laying on top and now we're gonna go after these uh, that one there right here and that one and this one that's up here and that's a uh, this is a McGill switch which is a uh, uh, normally open, normally closed contact and a common on it. So I'm going to go for him first. See what happens when we uh, hit him with a hammer, huh? Now, everything's going to go everywhere probably, but that's the way it goes. When you don't have a big towel and you got these little rags. Well, I see pieces falling out, so... I'm guessing we did good. Wowie! <laughs> okay. There's those. There's some copper. And there's some copper in a contact. There's some, uh, wow, brass and copper combination. And here's a whole bunch of crap. Nada. That wasn't a good break on that one, huh? I mean, it broke good, but there wasn't nothing inside it, hardly. Okay, there's a silver contact, silver contact, and a silver contact there. So, we'll take that apart the rest of the way, and be back. Well, guys, I got a, all those switches done. Not everything that's in the bucket, but all that I had on the table. I've got uh, this much more copper here, that much more steel, and you can see the, the silver jar just keeps getting fuller and fuller. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Yeah. There it is. Not bad. All right. Well, YouTube, I had these old circuit breakers, <coughs> and I started out taking this apart. Now, I'm not going to video this, but then I got thinking, well, a circuit breaker is 
merely a, a switch that's automatic that's activated by current. So you get too much current, it trips. So, and it's a switch, you get a toggle. So what you're seeing here is the case that I took apart. And what you're seeing here is the copper right here that we got. And now this is silver plated copper here. And I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this yet, but you can see the, the copper right there on my finger, right there. And there's a contact right here, right there by my thumb. And this is copper, and this is copper, and that's obviously copper. And this is where you put your wire in here. <coughs> it's aluminum. And the majority of what you get is the uh, actuating mechanisms inside, and it's here, and it's all steel. So that's all the steel that came out of one. But I figured I might as well show you how I took this apart, and uh, I'll do another one. So I'll be back when I get something else to show you. Alright guys, so I'm over by the drill press now. I don't think you need a drill press. You can probably drill these pins out with uh, just a hand drill. You can see probably, I don't know, I guess you can see it right here. <coughs> by my thumb is a pin. Here's a pin. And I drill out one side and I get them out as far as I can. And then just cut the head off and then drop the pin out and it comes apart. So, and this is a GE circuit breaker. It's a 30 amp GE, the same as the other one. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the drill press up here and uh, drill out uh, those rivets. So be back. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why take these apart? Why don't you just sell them? Well, because they're not of much value. Once the other case is all scraped up like this, everybody wants a real big discount when they try to buy a used breaker. And they want to guarantee that it's going to work. And if, it, if they've got a problem in their place where they're using it and the breaker doesn't work, then it's the breaker's fault. So, so it's easier just to drill out a couple pins here, take it apart, and just scrap it. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started on this one. And here's where the pin is. Let's see, I'm going to be right in front of you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But it's a really hard pin. <clears throat> see it's trying to come out guys so I think what I'm going to do instead of drilling these out I'm going to drive it out uh, from the one end of the pin to the other you can see it's out here and I'll cut that head off with a uh, cut off wheel and uh, drive it out then we'll be done be back all right guys so I've got that one coming out and what I'm going to try to do you can see the one pin here. I'm going to try to turn this and drive this one out here. So we'll see. And it's coming. I know you're going to say, so is Christmas. I'm right on the edge here. <coughs> I'm going to try not to flip this off the bench. Okay, it's breaking and that's okay. Okay, that's how we're going to do them from now on. Be back. Okay, so here's the one I'm working on. Here, and I just drove that pin out a little bit more. And it, it breaks the, the case, but we don't care. We're not going to use this case, so we're going to kind of take it apart here. Now there's two more little pins. And there's a hole here and a hole here. And we're going to drive those out also. So I'll take it over to the other bench and uh, drive those and be back. Okay, so when you drive these two bottom pins out, the ones that are more recessed here and there, this is what happens. 
this all comes apart here. You see that pin isn't all the way out yet, but that's okay. So now you just take this stuff apart. Here we got a that piece of steel. I'm sure this little spring is steel. It's not. Uh, yep. None of it's stainless. That was one of the pins. Um, this is the plug-in to the, and that's copper, and it's got the contact right there. So that's a good. And now this is empty. And there's not much to <coughs> to these on the inside. So you just pull them apart, like yo, and we'll we'll take this apart. Hi guys, this is a 15 amp. I did it the same way as I did the other one, other two. Uh, you just pull this stuff apart. That's steel. Um, that's the copper. This pin is steel. And there's a little pin there. That's garbage. We'll steal out later. Steal. The only difference in this one is it's a 20 amp instead of a uh, 30 amp breaker. And there's my aluminum, here's my copper, and that little screw still in there. I didn't take it out of the other one, did I? There we go. There that is. So that's that. So we'll just take these apart. That's copper. That goes garbage. That's a little spring, that's steel. Okay. Be back. Alright, we're gonna call this one quits. You can only look at so many broken switches, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, come back again, give it a great comment, and thank you again for watching some of these crazy videos. Be back.